everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. Oh man, okay, so we're, I know a lot of people have already registered for GAC, and I'm uh, sorry that this video is a little bit late for that, but if you haven't yet, there's some remodding you can do, and honestly, uh, you know, 3v3 is different. 5v5, it's not too different from 5v5, there are just a few different characters that I personally like to target to be a little bit slower uh, or faster in 3v3 than 5v5, so just uh, let's let's go over these real quick. So, uh, we got six of them. Uh, the first one, guys, is Ray, and I actually, I, I'm kind of lazy, I just leave this on her anyways, but if you, a lot of people like to run her with either a lot of speed or health in 5v5, and that's not a bad way to do it. I just like her with offense set. Um, I mean, that, that's basically it. I mean, in terms of what she's got, I mean, she's got health, honor circle, offense, cross, uh, offense, triangle, and offense, arrow as well. And then I randomly have a really fast... Uh, diamond here I need to swap it out because I don't need her to be I mean, she, she doesn't need any mods that are this fast like we're clearly like this this diamond is working at cross purposes with this arrow like the diamond says we're trying to make her fast and I really don't care about her being fast like 482 is not super fast uh, my damage threshold here uh, it's a uh, close to 11k so uh, really the the thing that we're trying to do is maximize her ultimate hit because her ultimate's only going to be hitting three people at most unless we're fighting like geos or something and so uh, you were going to be using her for offense a lot anyways the way i use her and so her when her ultimate hits it's only going to be dispersed over three people and therefore uh raw offense numbers is what we want so um anyways that's that's what i want to do with ray with General Skywalker. Now, I already have him modded for offense for the most part, but here, here's what I want to show you guys. So, if you, a lot of people have him in a protection build, and that's that's like a legit, decent build. I prefer offense, just because I like to kill Galactic Legends with him, but in 3v3, you're gonna get fewer uh, perks from going the protection route. So you see, um, at the start of the battle, he gains plus 15% max protection for all of her, his 501st allies. So normally that he gains 60% max protection if he's with four clones. However, he's only going to be with two clones at maximum now, and therefore his max protection is only going to be plus 30%, and you're not going to get as much of a boost. Now, is it still a decent build? Like, is he still pretty buff pretty tough to kill if you go the protection route yes uh it's not completely negated but you're only getting half of what you normally want and like offense is just so good on him anyways this is a little bit my attempt to just try to get you guys to only to go full offense on him and just leave it that way but <laughs> i'm not i'm not super subtle i guess um so you see i have a protection circle here because he's still going to be with 501st sometimes and then i offense and crit damage you could go offense on the triangle as well i think i don't remember the math right now off the top of my head then offense for your um arrow as well offense set you just want a lot of offense now this one is important and guys I have a pretty gaudy number here, and it's just because I, <laughs> man, I, I was struggling to get the right numbers, and I eventually kind of threw in the towel and went crazy. You want Shock T to be fast because she goes so well in 3v3 with Jedi Knight Luke. And here's the thing, so Jedi Knight Luke on defense in 5v5 is going to be pretty easy to take out because, uh, or, or <laughs> let me rewind just a bit. Okay, so Jedi Knight Luke is good. Uh, against a lot of comps in 5v5, but on defense he kind of struggles because Vader has his number so easily because Vader gets so many bonuses from everyone. So he's not only is Vader getting bonuses from himself and his Empire friends and everyone, um, Vader is also gaining buffs uh, or gaining speed off of Rebels and uh, Jedi. And so against like Jedi Luke teams, Especially if like there's old Ben in there, he's getting Vader's getting like plus 48 in 5v5, but Vader is slower 
in 3v3 because he's only gaining bonuses from a maximum of three characters on his side and a maximum of three characters on the Jedi's side. And so it's a lot easier to outrun Vader because he has such a low base speed. So what we're trying to do here, and I'll show you guys, um, we're trying to get Shock T faster than their Vader can be. So, you can see mine is at 354. I hope that's faster than my buddy Goms. I don't know, but um, <laughs> my, my original intent was just to have him like at 346, which is still really fast, granted. Still very fast, but the faster you have her, the less likely it is that Vader can outrun you. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. Some Vaders may still be able to catch up. You need to be cognizant too if you put old ben as the third old ben is gaining or is giving vader an extra 16 speed instead of eight because vader is both rebel and jedi so um my shock t will end up being uh, paired with jedi knight luke quite a bit now padme's one um i mean you can have runner slow in 5v5 i like to leave her pretty quick though i like to leave her in the upper like in the three fast 300s uh, in this case, though, you want her slower, at least in, depends on how you want to use her, but if you use her, if you want to use uh, her and her team as a Darth Revan counter, keep in mind, it's probably going to be like a two-shot against Darth Revan, so not always going to be feasible, sometimes it's going to be really rough, but uh, if you need to two-shot Darth Revan, or if this is just like how you want to run things, Padme is a great, great one to be slow, and so let me show you guys just an example here, actually with Padme, just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So, you want Padme to be the slowest of the six, so you're, you're facing the full bastard Darth Revan team, we'll say. So, we've got Padme, who is as established, 255, then she needs to be slower than her own teammates too. So 267 here, and... 271. So what's going to happen is Darth Revan's going to go, theoretically at least, the Darth Revan will go first, he'll put fear on Padme, he'll fear the whole team, and then Padme will go and, uh, oh, sorry, Padme won't go for a while. Um, so uh, Bastila will go, she will also debuff the whole team. Padme can't be feared though, so uh, then her two buddies will go, they won't do anything because they're feared, and then Padme will go after this. I guess Malak will go after, or go at some point as well. Um, Padme will go after everyone. She's got a huge mountain of debuffs on her. So do these two guys, because they've already been feared, and then all their buff debuffs have been expanded. They've got tons of them. Padme will go. She'll use her buff ability and turn all of those debuffs into stacks of courage, or protection up, whatever. And her guys will have a huge number of protection up. These guys won't be able to dispel them because they've already used all their sweet moves to do that. And you'll have all these stacks of courage. You can kill Darth Revan and Bastila really fast. And then Malak, well, good luck. <laughs> You're going to time out against him, uh, I don't know, more than 50% of the time. Or, or he'll just kill you before you time out. So, uh, happy proposition there, but then you can clean up a load Malak doesn't have to be bad and sometimes you can just kill him right off the bat so um that's how you use padme in 3v3 or at least how i do now the brood alpha is one where i don't like to put a huge amount of uh of mod energy into him i like to make him faster in 3v3 because if you can get the jump on someone if you can go faster if you could be faster than like i don't know their dooku or newt or whoever if you can get the jump on them and start getting like ability block on them or whatever things you need like it's gonna help a lot so uh ideally i think i used to run him at, at over plus 300 um or 300 plus but for whatever reason the modding wasn't working so 291 uh, don't don't put too much effort into it but a uh, faster geo, geo brood alpha is nice in this case and then finally stark guys don't make, uh, don't make your Piet slower, but do make your Stark slower. Um, <laughs> like, what I'm going to do, actually, what I want to do, I want to put offense sets on him. He's actually going to go with Piet. You actually do want to be able to still chain with Piet. So, 
uh, make them within like the 20% range. If you guys want to find my troopers video and find the speed equation, that's great. Um, it, it, it works here. So what, what you want to do though, like troopers, troopers aren't that great in 3v3. You don't need a fast start. Uh, I'm still, I mean, watch, watch my videos. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I want, I'm, I'm experiment, experimenting with a fast Piet with Stark and Veers and we'll see, how, we'll see what happens. But one way or another, Stark does not need to be super fast. If you do have a super Stark fa fast Stark, for some reason, I would recommend taking his mods, uh, his fastest mods off putting them on another character that needs them, like Shock T or etc., and uh, reallocating for, you know, later at, at during the 5v5. So, anyways, guys, those are the six that I would target. I don't like to go crazy. Um, I hate mod swapping in general. So, I hope that this was helpful. These are the ones that I changed or would change if they needed them. Um, I did change these four. Uh, the other two were already kind of preset. So, Anyways, guys, that's it. Just wanted to make a quick video about it. Uh, good luck in 3v3. I hope you all have easy matchups, unless you're facing me, in which case I hope that it is an impossible one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and remember that in all things, Zareth prevails. Especially if you're facing me. Don't, don't forget that, please.